Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Welcome all to the Master Leong Show. What? <laughs> yeah, so I uh, today, <clears throat> another down day. Alibaba was down more than 1%. Then recovered a bit, 96 plus, almost uh, near $70. But broke the $70 level. Clutch 11, 998 broke below 70 and stayed there. Aya, yeah, support broken, jalat. MT Pulse, master, of course, is very stressed to hold Baba unless folks uh, are shorting. Yeah, those that are long on Baba, I think most of us are feeling very stressed. I have in the poll there. Yeah, ask your, uh, what is your stress level holding Alibaba? Low, medium, or high? Yeah, feel free to vote. Then I, I, I'll close the poll before I start. Oh, Nassim T nearly made it back to 70. So C can, can recover back or not. 70, 72 if the support uh, breaks, it might come to 60. Uh, uh, the all-time low is 58. Alibaba has never traded below 58. 58 the lowest was uh, last November when there was a fear of a Taiwan invasion. So, But the 58 was intraday. It closed at the $60. So all time lows based on closing is the sixty dollar level. Yeah, in the one decade of Alibaba, the all time lows is sixty dollar. Uh, a decade ago, two zero one four, I uh Alibaba the IPO price was sixty eight dollars, sixty eight dollars. So now it's back to the decade ago, uh IPO price ready. David Wong bought more Baba at seventy two dollar level last night. Wow, very good buy. Hua la, hua la. Yeah. Oh, James 92, I think if Baba continue like this, first half will be 30 for this. 30 for this, I think everybody go and jump already. <laughs> Impossible, la. I don't think it will come this low. La. <clears throat> yeah. Even now, $60 again is very low probability already. 60 low chance, but might come to 60. 50 also quite impossible. Yeah, but 50 may be like Taiwan invasion, then you will see 50 or $40. La. Try to be more rational. La. Oh, 30 40 dollar really is spread fear already don't don't think that's logical la. they have like 25 dollar cash on their balance sheet la. cash plus their investment in listed companies is about 40 dollar per share also that alone that they can they can become cash meme news go watch every uh dr eric lin's speech on china new economy and globalization yeah oh uh, yesterday i actually uh, Google the Dr. Eric Lee. Then I watched this video, which was one month ago. Yeah, very insightful. Basically, the key point is that uh, China is moving away from a traditional economy of property manufacturing. It's moving in high-end technology like uh, EV, green energy, robotics, AI, things like that. That is also why I mentioned quite a couple of times why they are quite reluctant to do super QE to save the property market. Property market now is like the biggest GDP contributor, almost one quarter. But five years, ten years later, the biggest contributor for the GDP will be high-end manufacturing. Or like the EV car, the green energy, those kind of things, and even AI. So the property, they just want to stabilize it. They don't want to create a bubble again. Yeah. Swifty forever, can't vote because no stress. Ah. Wow, very, very good. Very good mindset. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so Daniel Ng changed name to Swifty forever. Wow, your name keep, keep changing. Uh. Wow, we all blur already. Uh, ask your daughter to think of one name that can combine both her name and, and your name together. Uh, then it's easier for all of us uh, to recognize you all. Yeah, he implied three or four trends that power China is over. <clears throat> yeah, so now is China is moving in a new direction already. In the past, they basically is the world manufacturing hub working for the US. Now they don't want to work for US. They want to be the equal of US. And US is like high value add economy, like technology, finance, uh, medical, uh, pharmaceutical, all those things. Yeah. Uh, uh, Swifty forever may not be the trend anymore, but as China get richer, people will buy more. Yeah, people will spend more. So the e commerce players like Baba JD uh, will earn more. Then the people will need more insurance or ping an. Yeah, so uh, for all these uh, internet tech giants, right? Basically, they are the heart of the economy. They, they re reflect the consumption of the Chinese consumers. Yeah. Li Yong, China super stocks is that few only. Yeah, but, but even like the Tencent and Alibaba, Baidu, all these, they do uh, invest a lot. 
uh, in like EV and also AI. All the top EV players, uh, they, are, they are owned by, by all these big tech companies. Only BYD is more uh, independent. Uh. Then Alibaba and Baidu, they also own like full, full self-driving, level 4 self-driving. Yeah, then also they all invest heavily in AI. So just that uh, this unit now they, they are small, but, but in the future, they will be a, be a big contributor uh, to their earnings. Beyond, okay, uh, Clutch 11, China still has hundreds of millions of those uninsured in the countryside. Yeah, so still got room to grow la, for insurance because those in the those that buy insurance now are mainly the tier 1, tier 2 city, those more educated one. So the, the rural areas, the tier 3 to tier 5 city still, still got a lot of room. Or, uh, to to insure themselves, yeah. But Ping An, they are still going at a very healthy clip, uh. Just that short term, this year their earnings it is weak due to the exposure to property. So, uh, yeah, a lot of companies do have exposure to property. Just that it's high or low only. Or Jasper Lim true to poll last night, seventy two did not hold. Yeah, most people are very fearful. Uh. That's why the seventy two level do not hold. So. Uh, it might come to the $60 level, so you'll be mentally prepared if Alibaba comes for the $60 level. Yeah. The new generation, they are, they are more tech savvy, then they'll invest in tech stocks. So, like the dinosaur stocks are like banks, telcos, uh, all these uh, pe people might have less interest and people might invest more in the te technology stocks. Because technology is the future. Yeah. David Wong, remember Amazon crashed to single digit before. Baba is the like Amazon uh, version 2.0. Yeah, it's like the dot com bubble like that. If you buy now, 10 years later, definitely you, you'll make money. Uh, that's my thinking. Yeah, Clutch 11. I made a 998 screenshot today so that in future you can look at this belief. I'll come back when it's 500 per share and I'm on the beach. Wow, very well said, very well said. And Nina Lim, yeah, well said. Yeah, All the Baba bird looks very stressed. Hunt 2, welcome. Aiden, welcome. Pixels Princess, welcome. You are Hara, oh, welcome. Mr. Andy bought 10,000 shares of 98 in the uh, China market and 4,000 shares of Ping An. Wow, very strong hands. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Andy. Well well done, well done. Power, la. Wow. now confirm it's a, it's a steal. La. You can hold for a few years, two, two three years. Ah, wow, sure, what big? La. Yeah, Ping An, wow, down 2% today. And because of the news on the banks, uh, later I'll uh, update you all. Elena Lim, what's there to stress? Look at it in a few years' time. Yeah, a few years' time later, I think you all will quite big, big. Or Sean Ho, welcome, welcome. Yeah, well, your Ping An and Baba very red. I think everyone, the Baba and Ping An, are very red. Yeah. Ethan, Master, are you paying about $70 per day for your margin? I don't know. Like, I don't really calculate. Like. Every day, look at the portfolio. Every day, calculate. Make yourself stress only. So, uh, like I mentioned before already, that. Like, I have 9,000 shares of Alibaba in the Hong Kong market. Then uh, Tiger, I'm paying 5% uh, interest. Mumu, I'm paying 6.8% interest. Yeah. So, so I don't count it by per day. La. It's like, if the portfolio, right, long term, I believe I can generate 20 or 30% returns. So I don't care paying 5 or even 6% uh, on interest. So that's my thinking la, over the long run. Yeah. But most people, if you are uncomfortable paying interest using margin, then you don't use margin. Yeah. Mr. Tokuyomi, good evening. Yeah. Uh, Homer Simpson, hi ML. I will sell your Baba shares and use a uh, synthetic. Uh, let me see. Okay. ML, if I were you, I will sell your Baba shares and use a synthetic bull option. Each contract acts as a hundred audition. Or oh, I, I won't uh, use options la. I say options like a zero sum game la. If I want to earn passive income, I can also sell core options on the Baba. For me, I mostly just buy and hold for long term la. Mr. Andy is our Taobao insider. <laughs> our super BB. Yeah. Ivy Lim, Baba actual support is 56.5 ah. Is it? So this one is the what the all time all time lows ah. It's like ten years ago the lows is it? Because last year the the lows was uh, fifty eight dollars. Then I look at the ten year chart. I don't see anything lower la. Oh, it could be lower. Is that when the IPO at sixty eight? Then it came down to fifty six point five. Is it? Because I, I I the lowest I see is like fifty eight. I never see any number lower. So yes, if things get worse, it might come to sixty or or even uh fifty eight. Yeah. 
Kenneth, I hope Baba drop to single digit like Amazon and all in further. Alibaba go to one dollar. I think everybody all in already. But I think now is like a uh, peak fear lah. Everybody thinks that Baba will go lower, and a lot of people don't dare to buy because they say that oh, what? Why am I gonna buy Baba now at seventy dollars when it's gonna come down to sixty or even fifty? So I think there's a strong interest in Alibaba, but not everyone or uh, is uh able to take the stress to be greedy when others are fearful. Okay. So what? Uh, let me end the poll. Wow, today is so busy. What is your stress level holding Alibaba? Thirty nine percent is high. Most people is high stress. Uh, then thirty four percent is low medium. But I think most people, I think almost forty percent of the folks here, high stress, uh, holding Baba. So I can feel your stress, lah. But if you're not a margin, just hold. Then just write it out, lor. You're not forced to sell your position. But if you're using derivatives. You are on margin, or oh, you are using call options. Wow, then 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 that's more stressful for sure. Yeah, ML go, uh, Mister Tokoyomi, ML go beach to go win tonight and look at board. <laughs> uh, tonight don't want to go already. Morning I went already. Then I do my high, did my YouTube shots already. But but should be okay lah. Yeah. So the Aten ah, I have hidden you already lah. You every time come my channel always give a uh, very difficult questions or quite or always make fun of master. Yeah. So. Uh, that I won't tolerate lah. So there's a line lah. Once in a while you make fun, okay lah. You keep attacking master. <laughs> then I'll say bye bye to you. I wish you all the best, Ethan. I hope you quite big big on Alibaba lah. But it's quite obvious you're not a Alibaba investor. Lah. Also bye bye, Ethan. Take care. <laughs> yeah. yeah, So I have to build a healthy community lah. Of so I hope can everyone can encourage each other. Because our views are more or less the same, that we believe that Alibaba is a great company, is undervalued. That's why we are in this community as Baba Bird. Oh, so hope everyone can be more positive. Huh? So now is is like they call it a descending wedge, a falling wedge. Now the the high is lower and lower, and and the lows is also lower. So waiting for it to consi consolidate. When the two lines touch each other, then it can consolidate and bounce from there. Yeah. So I also don't know TA. I also don't know TA. Later can fight with SE price. Uh. SE seems to be holding well. 38. Uh. But if Baba come to SE price, uh, wow, gone cash ready. Yeah. Now everyone is... So remember when SE was being sold down, everybody say that SE will go to $20. Then in the end, right, SE uh, held at $35. So people are often uh, too, too pessimistic. Uh. Yeah, so... I think same thing for Baba. People say that oh Baba will go to 60, 50 or 40. Usually it won't get so low. La. I think 60 is the lowest. La. I don't think it will go lower than the last year November, the lows. Yeah. Is it true that Jack Ma sell his shares? He already announced already ma that he's not selling. Yeah, he have an annual plan to sell because he wants to take the shares to invest in agriculture and education uh, other areas uh, to do his like community service to do good deeds all this but but the family trust announced that he's not selling really because the price is too low and he believes that uh alibaba is undervalued means oh master what's your thoughts on se se very undervalued uh, i always got cover it uh. just that this year the full year results is not so good like the third quarter results they turn loss making because they, are, they need to defend against TikTok, which is attacking aggressively into the Asia e-commerce market. Ethan, yeah. Ethan, uh, Ethan, uh, Ethan, uh, Ethan, yeah. Ethan, ah, I, I hide him already. I uh. cannot tie him in. Uh. Every time he come in uh, and mock the master, so uh, I cannot tie him already. Yeah. Master now, uh, I, uh, bad mood already. Don't give chance already. Aiden, I thought your, your name is Aiden. A I D N. Aiden. Aiden or Aiden? Aiden, oh, thanks for support, thanks for support. Yeah, Aiden, 37 level for SE seems to be holding well. Chun Yuan, welcome, welcome. Every time China market open, Chinese sell down Baba. Yeah, always market open down 1 or 2% really. Don't know when will stabilize. See whether by the end of this week can stabilize. Because recently really a lot of bad news. Also, let me begin my sharing. So today also bad news. That's, that's why it's uh, sold down. So the bad news uh, was announced by Moody's uh, on Tuesday, 
uh, they announced the downgrade of China. Then subsequently Wednesday and Thursday they also have further announcement. So before even this announcement, right, or last week on Friday, Moody's advised their staff not to go to work or for this week. Or they the or they ask employees in Beijing and Shanghai to stay at home. Or they, they because there's concern over possible backlash of the downgrade. That's why since Friday, right, the internal staff already know already. That's why on Monday the Chinese market started to sell down. And it has been selling down over the past four days, Monday to Thursday. Wow, that's why Alibaba lower and lower. So uh, on Tuesday they cut the China rating uh, to the negative outlook. So on Wednesday night, uh, or on Wednesday the US timing, right? Or they cut the outlook for Hong Kong and also uh, for the banks also, and also the local government financing vehicles. Everything also cut. So eight banks were cut to negative from stable. So that includes their big four banks, or ABC, BOC, CCB, ICBC, uh, or not vulgarity, uh, CCB, yeah, uh, China Construction Bank. Uh. Yeah, so uh, the banks are being cut. That's why you see Ping An uh, down 2% also. Plus the worry that they are saying is that the property market is so weak or it could cause problems for also the financial system. That's why they downgrade the uh, local government uh, financing vehicle and also the Chinese banks. So Hong Kong, which got downgraded, uh, or oh, come out to complain. Or oh, they say uh, is that unfounded. Uh, <laughs> Or they disagree with the Moody's downgrade uh, on their credit outlook. Also, Moody's, they say that Hong Kong deserves the downgrade because there are signs of reduced autonomy on Hong Kong political and uh, uh, jewelry institutions. Uh. So, we saw that in 2020, there were some changes in the national security law and the electoral system. Uh. So, we saw the Hong Kong protests, all this, then now the CCP have more or less like full control, a lot of uh, say in the Hong Kong economy uh, and, and their government. So Moody believes that this point is a further erosion to Hong Kong because they are so strongly tied uh, to China. So there were definitely political considerations. So they say that Moody, this downgrade is unfair. Or uh, because uh the behind so th this downgrade it could be political something political because Moody's is a U.S. company, uh, so this rating is not always fair. The U.S. election might have a role in this, so it's basically the the Biden administration uh, or the the Democrats because they want to win the election in two zero uh two four against Donald Trump the Republicans. So now, right, in order to carry flavor on the common folks, they are taking a very hard stance on China. They keep clamming down on China, like, or be it like uh, in uh, not giving them the high end chips. They also always uh, disagree. Even recently, the SJP uh, met with Biden in the U.S. And then what Biden do? Biden call him a dictator. Oh, I call him a dictator. Also, uh, but. When Biden calls him the dictator, right? Biden the votes wow, go up. Yeah, so so basically they just want to whack Hong Kong and whack uh, China. Yeah, it's it's not a fair downgrade, uh, I I would say. So this then they downgrade Hong Kong totally makes no sense. Uh. They they downgrade China, I think makes some sense because really the, the, the property bubble we, we see that things things are getting worse and worse. Don't know when when is the bottom. But for Hong Kong, right? Hong Kong is basically like Singapore. Eh? They are so rich, they are financial hub, they are have so strong uh, in, in their reserve. Like Hong Kong and Singapore, right? They are top five in the world in, in terms of their forex reserve. They have trillions of, of dollars in their forex reserve in terms of Hong Kong dollar. In terms of uh, US dollars, I think it's like half, half a trillion uh, in, in their reserve. So Hong Kong is uh, it, it's like. Uh, they have a lot of surplus. The, their balance sheet is super strong. And both Hong Kong and Singapore, they are AAA rated. So the thing is, they are AAA rated. Hong Kong companies enjoy uh, low borrowing costs. If, if they are downgraded to like AA or what, then the, the, there will be increased financing costs uh, for their companies. So it's not fair to downgrade them because they are getting closer to the mainland. Yeah, this is very unreasonable. 
That's why it's a bit frustrating. Uh, so, but then the Hong Kong, the GDP is not doing well. The outlook for next year, the, the growth will be quite slow also. So economists slash their uh, GDP growth uh, expectation for the full year of this year. From 4%, they, they cut it down to 3.3%. Yeah, so, so they, they, they cut it down. So growth for the fourth quarter of this year, instead of 6.5%, now that is only expected to be like 4.8%. Next year, the GDP, right, uh, originally they expected 3%. Now it's being reduced to 2.7%. So everything is be, being uh, downgraded. So it's like a snow, snowball effect. Uh, Moody's downgrade, economies also down, downgrade the outlook. So now the, the market is selling and the expectations is low. So if uh, Hong Kong or China, they can meet the expectations or exceed the expectation, then we might see a rebound in the market. So Hong Kong, the GDP was very weak, like uh, during the lockdown period, the initial wave, we saw the GDP going into contraction, a recession. Then subsequently, because they are so tight to China, they follow the strict lockdown, same as China. Then they went into another recession, already twice already. So now they, they are coming out of it and they are, they are holding quite well already. So I don't see anything wrong uh, with Hong Kong. If they want to downgrade, they should downgrade uh, during the two recessions. Long ago, now then downgrade a, a bit weird uh, when it's on the rebound and when it's recovering. So the, the downgrade really makes makes no sense. Yeah, so the good news is back to the China, the macro, the fundamentals. Yeah, so the good thing is that exports edge up for the first time in seven months. So export is very important uh, because like uh, China is still the manufacturing hub of the world or uh, India won't overtake them overnight. Uh, uh, so uh, exports rose at 0.5%. You can see the chart uh, previously uh, from the start of the year until now, export has always been uh, negative. In the beginning, uh, the first quarter, uh, it bounced very strongly. So you think, wow, the worst is over already. Then come back down to contraction. So now it is it's a bit volatile, uh, but seems that the worst is over already. From negative, now it's back to the positive mark already. So whether it can sustain or not, whether it goes sideways or you bounce uh, sharp, sharply up, so the exports edge up for the first time in seven months. Oh, that's very positive news. But the market still do still sell down. So uh, last month what was uh, as compared to the previous month, uh, uh, like October, uh, it, it was the export was a negative 6.4%. So this month for November up 0.5%. That, that's very good already. Yeah. So like manufacturing, I would say the worst is over. But export is basically you manufacture and you sell overseas. So some countries, they are exporting less. For example, uh, US and Europe. So uh, exports to U Europe uh, area uh, is down 14.5% and it worsened from, from, from October. So you can see the blue color, the Europe Union, all the way on a downtrend. Uh, so the, the, this sh sharp down one right, is uh, very cyclical. Uh, but, but you can see the, the current trend over the past few months, the blue line, Europe usually all, all the way down. So Europe most likely uh, is heading into recession, gone case already. So there's not much consumption. But China, because they are decoupling from Europe and US, you can see that China is now exporting more uh, in the ASEAN region. Uh. So it's very important for, for China to do trade with the partners uh, around Asia and also with Russia. Like uh, China is doing, I think, 50% more exports to Russia and they are doing more exports with, uh, to the Middle East also. Yeah, so basically China is partnering with everyone else except US and Europe. Then surprisingly, their export to US is uh, going sideways, more or less stabilized already. So those that want to move out has already moved out already. So, okay. For the online housing, so now the property market is, is very weak, but it's also an opportunity uh, to get into the property market. So quite so, they're actually not strong in the e-commerce because e-commerce is so competitive like Alibaba, JD, Pingtoto, and there's also Douyin. So quite so, they try to differentiate. And instead of selling clothes, selling cosmetics, they sell property. Yeah, so... Uh, they start off uh, with a uh, live, live stream uh, to sell property, the whole physical apartment. So, yeah, so 
quite so they have this one month campaign called national home buying season so it starts uh wednesday yesterday and will run through uh january 5. so now is the season for where usually there's high trading volume usually it's june and uh, december same as singapore because it's the holiday period uh, where the parents spend more time with their kids and as a family or maybe they want to buy a bigger home or what they got they have more time now to go view view the houses so they're offering users a housing voucher or 888 is a small money lah, but but extra money is better than nothing and also settlement voucher 1800 if they secure a flat outside their home city also if they're buying uh an additional flat for investment or what so total is like quite a lot eh? 2700 or what? oh so so that, that that's that's quite quite significant also yeah so uh now the, the environment changed really because now selling house not only uh because you, that you are in this city right if you want to travel to another city to view the house it's very inconvenient so now what's common is you view it online then you confirm want to buy then you go down then you and you make the purchase yeah so through the online uh, live, what, what they do is that many consumers now watch agents show off the houses live and they make the purchase over the internet, don't even need to go down or to see the house. And last year they sold already 10 billion uh, worth of property. This year they will be selling even more. So And the property actually, I look at the prices quite cheap. Eh? Like they, some is like the tourist area, lah, so it's not the tier 1 city, lah, it's more of the outskirts area, like Hainan, you know, which people buy the duty-free products. So Hainan is, is like by the sea, you can eat seafood, all this one. So uh, 1.8 million yuan or for a three bedroom. Hey, that, that's quite okay. Then uh, uh, if you buy a smaller unit at the Kunming, uh, Tanqing Lake, 500,000. So this is very outskirts already. Or oh, Yunnan, Southwestern, or oh, this is uh, very uh, inland already, Yunnan area. Or oh, five hundred and seventy thousand yuan is just sing dollars, like hundred thousand sing dollar. Oh, so so that that's very cheap. So the pri prices now, like China property, is actually very cheap. I, I think. So I think those that have the courage to buy now, right? Five years, ten years later, you will quite big, big. Yeah. So, but just that the sentiments is poor lah. Nobody dare to go in and bargain hard. So that's the funny thing. Yeah. When property prices going up and up, all oh, the the past decade, a super bull run for the everybody rush in and buy. Now the property bubble burst, nobody buy, the volume is low. Yeah, so uh, my feeling is that the government should come in uh, and just do QE and have their portfolio, buy up all these uh, properties and do rental. And when the property market recovers, then the pop, the government will have a gain. Yeah, so so I'm hopeful, lah, but you see the first quarter, what, what the CCP will do. Lah, uh, to uh, help this to help stabilize the property crisis but every month they announce something new to stabilize eventually the property market will stabilize uh. so now the main problem is still the property market i i feel for china manufacturing like i share with you the data uh, the world should be over already lo looking at, at the chart yeah so i chit chat with you all before going into the U u.s market news SE Baba one day chart is literally staircase down. You, the kind you see in bankrupt company, yeah, the, the selling pressure is so much. All the US funds, they are just dumping. The one buying is the retail investors like us. There's one that are back, back holding. Or oh, Eugene Lee, as a long term investor, it's pointless to weep when the price of your counter drops and cheer when the prices rise. Yeah, I should look at the fundamentals. Though. Yeah. Iden, Ivy, do you buy Palantir? Wow. Oh, don't know you all got play Palantir. Mock Atlas, Chinese stocks always get hit by property market issue. Yeah, they see, people see the news negative, uh, then, then they sell, sell down. Ivy Lim, I work in IT industry. I'm not bullish on Palantir. L like I, I see some of the review online, like Palantir, they, they go down to the US company and they do the presentation. The biggest problem with Palantir, I hear people say, is that once you start to use their system, right, it's difficult to change a system, you cannot port your data over. You, your, your data is stored uh, with the Palantir. So the switching cost uh, is impossible or very high. Once you, are use, you, once you use Palantir, you start with Palantir. So not, not everyone is keen to 
to to use Palantir, and and it's like a premium product. Uh, it, it's not cheap, uh, because they, they are they are so prominent. Wallace, good evening, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Swifty forever. I've been staring at my U.S. portfolio for weeks and weeping quietly. Why? Eh? I thought U.S. stocks have been very strong. Kenneth, I work in a uh, IT industry. You are bull on Palantir. Wow, so fierce. Eh? But Palantir, I, I don't like the management because they print a lot of the shares. Eh? They, there's like a 20% uh, share dilution every year. But I, also, I don't understand their business so much. Eh? Yeah, but Palantir, it looks like a good business, but I, I just that I don't like the management. Chun Yuan, Sampan US REITs, they up a lot since stabilization of US conditions. Yeah, it's more, most of the expectation of the rate cuts. That's why REITs are on an uptrend. Later, I'll talk a bit about uh, REITs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Semi Vulu, welcome, welcome. Well, MJ Tang, Moody's downgrade is opportunity, uh, opportunity to buy cheap. Uh. Yeah, but I think eventually the fear will subside. Uh. Now the market is selling down mostly on the Moody's downgrade. And even before Moody's announced this downgrade, they already started to sell down as the insiders already leaked the information. So hopefully uh, by the end of this week, things will stabilize. Then we see whether next week Alibaba, the price can stabilize from, from there or not. Or maybe at the 68, I don't know. But if it cannot stabilize, then... It might come to $60 level. Oh, step by step. If support level one by one. It's like climbing down the stairs. Break, break and break and break. I don't know how low uh, this will go. Yeah, Hong Kong and SG. Best buddy. Yeah, Hong Kong and SG, a lot of similarities. Even our issues like housing issue, inflation issues. Uh, uh, yeah, Plus, basically, uh, both of us, we are the Asia financial hub. Both Hong Kong and Singapore. Oh, wow, Hantu, you like Taiwan Mei Mei? Ah? Wow, Taiwan Mei Mei very like to sa jiao. They got the wah wah ying. Everybody like wow, Hong Kong Mei Mei. Wong Ki Song, Palantir Wit can go lower, can buy. I spoke to Palantir guys in person, super power app. We wanted to see them, but bloody expensive. Yeah, yeah very expensive. Ah. It is a like very high end premium type one. Yeah. Justin Lim, US long term use will rise. Then equities will drop. Uh, it seems that the, the yields keep coming down. Eh. That's, that's why the market is so bullish. Later, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the, the yields or this. Chong Costa, welcome, welcome. Yeah, okay. So so let me talk, talk about the, the US market. So Timo is attacking aggressively in, into the US market. So they're snatching away business from the dollar store. So why is the dollar store? Dollar store is like dollar tree, dollar general. Family dollar. You, you walk into a uh, dollar general, which is the market leader, right? Everything is one dollar. You buy Hagen Dazs is one dollar. You buy shampoo is one dollar. You buy the detergent, like the tight detergent, also one dollar. You buy toothbrush, toothpaste, also one dollar. But the sizing is smaller, lah. Or instead of the big detergent, they give you a small detergent. That is 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 one dollar. Everything is also one dollar. So now the price is still one dollar, but the products are smaller and smaller. You buy the potato chips also. Smaller and smaller packet, the chocolate bar also smaller. So uh, they are under pressure. La. You, what I see in the US news is that a lot of them, they are, they are closing their outlets. Because the high inflation is killing their business. But instead, uh, Timu is booming in the US. So they are selling, because Christmas is coming. So there's high demand for home decor. Or put the socks, la, put the, the reindeer, la, put the Christmas tree, ha, or buy the Christmas t-shirt. So... $4 home decor, $10 t-shirts is selling very well. So, Timu now accounts for 17% market share in the US within the discount category. That's very fast. Eh? They only in the US market for just one and a half years or two years. That's why Timu, you see the revenues up 90%, so explosive. It's mostly coming from the US market because they're so aggressive. Then the dollar general, I just mentioned, market leader, 43%. Dollar Tree is 28%. Yeah, then 8% is the 5 below. See, they even overtake uh, the, the, the number 3 player already. Yeah, so next in the US market, AMD just debuted. So last night, uh, you, you, I saw their video on YouTube. It's a 2 hour video. I just skip around, uh, see they talk about it. It's all very techy stuff. Uh, I don't quite understand. So I, I'm not an expert when it comes to semiconductors or this. 
but they are launching the MI300 uh, AI accelerator chip. Uh. Basically, this is to fight against uh, NVIDIA. So the announcement was uh, last night. Uh, so there are customers that will be using these processors. Uh, they already make the order and uh, awaiting the delivery. It's like Microsoft, uh, Oracle, Meta. So Oracle now, they're actually doing quite well uh, in the cloud. So cloud, the market leader is like uh, AWS, then number two is Azure, number three, uh, Google Cloud. I think number four is now uh, Oracle. Eh? Yeah, I, don't, I don't number four or, or, or number five. Yeah, so uh, this AMD, this new chip right, has more than 150 billion transistors inside. Wow. So the more transistor, the more computing power. So it has 2.4 times as much memory as the NVIDIA H100 and uh, yeah and 1.6 times more bandwidth so they are saying that theirs is better than the NVIDIA H100 but NVIDIA they will be launching another new chip also next year so there's like so much competition yeah so uh, the Lisa Su uh, or, or Suzy Su I forgot her, her name already of the uh, this uh, CEO yeah so she uh, won't be a competition between the two companies. Many under others will vie for market share because uh, this market right is so juicy that you can make so high profit margins. Everybody see that Endivia is so profitable, so all the competition is coming in. So it's like a horse race uh, that everyone is uh, racing to try to overtake uh, Nvidia. So AMD now overtake. Then next year Nvidia will launch a better product to overtake back. So then subsequently, you will see another unknown company trying to overtake. What's billions and billions of dollars are being pumped into uh, this industry. So don't be surprised. Two, three years later, Chinese players will announce that they, they, their own product that's as good as uh, the AMD and NVIDIA chips. Even Jiang Sun Huan, uh, he, he himself, said that he won't be surprised or that uh, someday the Huawei uh, will be their biggest rival and biggest competitor. So, like uh, in 2020, Endivia is just a very small player in the data center. So AMD and Nvidia, they both started as a graphic card provider. And now they, they are moving aggressively into data center because now there's the, the boom in cloud computing, the boom in AI. So you can see that AMD is gaining quite rapidly in, in terms of revenue or they started almost from nothing uh, pre the lockdown period and now that they, they are quite significant already yeah so they are the, the, the it's quite so in the past they were just a tiny portion as compared to nvidia in terms of revenue so of course like nvidia the, the revenues are double and even triple or from like five or to 15 billion but now oh, amd is quite a big player one third the size so you won't be surprised this blue chart the next year or oh, is even higher like like maybe instead of one third is forty percent then the year after is fifty percent AMD is fighting very aggressively so the US market can continue the bull run or not so the analysts they are all quite mixed uh, like like some like JP Morgan they are quite bearish now the S and P five hundred is about four thousand five hundred level so the why so two zero two four is it bear or is it bull so JP Morgan, they are saying bear. It's going to come down to 4,200. Uh, then because it's going to crash and there's a risk of recession, the Fed, the Feds will cut rates aggressively. And then the 10 year yields will come down towards 3.75. So, so that, that's a bearish view. Uh. And some, they, they, are, they are very bullish, like, like, like uh, Goldman Sachs. They say US recession, very limited risk of a recession. Then the S&P 500 can go up another two, 300 points then rates will remain high at 4.6%. Uh, so looking at the current traded price of the 10-year yields, you can see that uh, from 5% highs, it has come down to below 4.2% already. So investors feel that there's a low risk of, uh, of a hard landing. It's mostly a soft landing, means a mild recession uh, ahead in 2024 or 2025. Then things will be all right and market is very bullish market is very bullish yeah so the overall more sentiments i say more people are bullish than bearish but the the target price can be the range can be very wide there's no uh, consensus uh. so 
on the flip side, as interest rate on well, the 10 year use keep going lower, as you see here, uh, it's like a V, like a reverse v, v shape. Uh, for the Singapore REITs, it's a, it has been a V shaped recovery. Uh, boats have left port ready. The REITs, boat left port ready. Yeah, so, uh, like I mentioned, one way to hedge against inflation is to own physical property. If you are not like Chicken Genius, you don't have $10 million to own 10 UK property, you can buy Singapore REITs. But don't buy Singapore REITs that have exposure in Euro and in London, uh, in UK or US. Uh, buy REITs that you can see, you can touch. Buy REITs that own a Singapore office and shopping mall assets. Then you, you collect the dividends. Because over the long run, the, the property will be more valuable, the rents will increase, then your DPU will increase. Short term, because of the higher interest rate cost, the DPU is impacted. The DPU can be down 5 or 10%. Or don't, don't be afraid that your DPU drop. Or in 2023 and even 2024. 2024, the DPU will continue to drop again. But 2025, the DPU will go back into growth mode already. So the market is forward looking. They see that the REITs, right? Or the, the worst is over for REITs already. Because interest rates is not going to 6 7%. The interest rate, rate high cycle has peaked already. So markets is usually six to twelve months forward looking. That's why uh, REITs have bottomed off already. So master uh, now can buy or not? I say, I think his boat has left port already la. The time to buy is the nine hundred fifty level, the one thousand level la, or, or the one thousand and fifty level. But now it's above that. It's almost reaching one thousand one hundred. Yeah. So I think the fair value, uh, you can see here la, is, is about here. The fair value is about here one 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 five. So now it's still considered a bit cheap, but you have less margin of safety. Lor. Still can buy. Lor. If you are DC, DCAing, I would say still can DCA, but it's not super bargain anymore. Lor. It's not super cheap anymore. I believe the bargains are still in the Hong Kong market. Yeah, Hong Kong market, you can buy. Like I say, it's like my thing is, why buy Singapore REITs for 7% dividend yield? Well, you can buy Ping An for 8% dividend yield, and they are just paying out 60% of their earnings. So, so that's my thinking. So Singapore and China, very strong partnership. So they just conducted a bilateral meeting. La. So I think it, this, this meeting was conducted at Tianjin. Or well, Tianjin, like, uh, Singapore and China last time, uh, uh, I think one or two decades ago, two decades ago, la, Singapore had, was so-called an expert at that. They'll give them advice how to build the Tianjin ecocities. But now China is the boss already. And Singapore need to depend them to grow our economy. So they're going to set up a mutual 30-day visa free travel. So this is actually more beneficial for Singapore. This will boost our tourism. So the Chinese folks can come in uh, like for one or two weeks uh, to, to just holiday and, and to spend money. So that, that's very good. In fact, you ask Singaporeans to go to China for a holiday. I think Singaporeans are not so keen. Uh. Singapore usually we go holiday is like to the Asia countries to, to use the power of Sing dollar. It was like we spend in like Indonesia, Bali, uh, Thailand, like Phuket, or so so uh, or even go Malaysia. I uh, think things are much cheaper. Usually people who go China to holiday, uh, they are more of the richer folks uh, that that they go China or they go Europe uh, to to holiday. Yeah, so. For the search volume for Singapore increased by 80% in an hour after this news. Or flight search volume increased by 90%. So uh, the, the search volume for hotel increased by 50%. Or on the trip.com, uh, trip.com is I think under by two. Yeah. So, then Alibaba also got, got the this tourism platform. I don't know it's Fei Zhu uh, or something like that. Yeah, so so uh, the tourism business it will boom lah. So China and Singapore, the relationship will only become stronger and stronger. Also, that's why some people might think that Singapore is part of China <laughs> because Singapore is leaning so close uh, with China. So as a Singaporean, do I see it as a good thing or not? I would say that it's a good thing for our economy because this will boost our tourist, uh, tourism. Lah. But on the flip side, when so much tourist is coming in, right? Well, their main spending is also on food. Uh, so restaurants will also see a boom. And restaurants will also raise their prices. So you look at like Yakun <laughs> uh, Kaya Tosa. 
So the last time I also considered uh in going into this like opening a franchise. So Yakun, I think they have uh how many outlets? I think forty over outlets in Singapore, something like that. Yeah, half of them uh or more is uh via franchise. Yeah, so in the past, right, to order the Kaya set, Kaya butter set is four dollar eighty. I don't know how many years ago. I think just this four dollar eighty, if I'm not wrong, is just three or four years ago only. It's like uh, the early lockdown period is four eighty. Then this year, it it was five sixty, and before the GST even go up, this is the latest price. I just saw this price. People post on the hardware zone forum. It's now six thirty. Yeah, by right, January then increase the GST, then you raise the price. But now some of these F and B players they raise the price even bef before the start of the year already. December they cannot tahan the high inflation, the high cost of goods, or they, or they anticipate that uh, consumers are still willing to pay. So that's a very sharp increase, you know, like four eighty to five sixty. That's a eighty cents increase. 80 cents that's like almost 20 20 percent increase 50 560 to 6, 630 that, that's what 70 cents increase or oh, that's a 15 percent increase wow yeah so people who put their money in the cpf your cpf compound at four percent but i look at the yakun the the value set you know, huh? the price is definitely compounding faster than five percent it, it's compounding more than 10 percent annualized huh? The, the Yakun uh, value set meal. Uh. So people who rely on their CPF for retirement, I think they will face a retirement crisis. And eventually, what will the government do to solve this crisis? They will raise the retirement age. They say that, oh, now you retire at 65, you get the 1,500 payout. It's not enough. So you must retire at 70. You work another five years, then you can retire with a $2,000 payout. Uh, so the biggest uncertainty la, or when putting your money with the CPF is that they can raise your retirement age. And I think that will be the solution. La. That will be the end game. La. The, the, the retirement age will only be dragged further and further because your money needs to compound longer. But, but the actual fact is that the, the food prices compound faster than your CPF. So how to beat inflation? You must invest in stocks or that, uh, that can raise their prices. As example, you just invest in Yakun. If Yakun is the listed company, you buy company at yeah, Yakun. Then your prices go up, then your revenues and your earnings go up. Same as the McDonald's example. If Big Mac goes from $5 to $7, that's a 40% increase. And your McDonald's, the revenues increase by 40% or over the five years when the prices are up $2. Yeah, so invest in companies or invest in platform companies. So example like Alibaba, Shopee, Lazada. So it doesn't, if everything, the price go up by 10%, then they get 10% more commission. Yeah, so as simple as that. They're just a middleman. Uh. They take a fixed percentage. The higher the prices, the more commission that they take. So I, I like to be invested in platform companies. That's why I invested in JD, SE, and Alibaba. Everything go up by 10%. Then my revenues also go up by 10%. As simple as that. So... Now the market is very weak. Will we have a center cost rally or oh, two weeks later? I'm very hopeful. Uh, uh. So maybe the US market will have a center cost rally. For the China market, I'm just hopeful that it can just stabilize off. Uh. Then next year, the year of the dragon, then we start moving upwards. So three years bear market already for the Hong Kong, for Alibaba. Uh, will it be a fourth year of bear market? I don't know. If bear market just hold and endure, uh, then I collect my dividends from Alibaba and JD. Yeah, so everyone, I think, is very stressful. Everyone is very upset. So even me, la, master, I do that also no mood. La. Yeah, so when master bad mood, la, don't, don't offend master. La. Master will just ban you. <laughs> just kidding. La. I don't ban anyone. La. If, if you, you like mock master one or two times, kidding, okay. La. Every time come in, I also say master. La. Master will be tahan. Then my, my moderator also not around. My childhood fan, I think he go holiday or, or what. Yeah. So he's not around. Nobody help me manage. Okay, okay, yeah. So chit chat with you all before I go offline. Wow, I think I saw something. Go Kim. Oh, thanks for support. Thanks for your Milo ping. Oh, every day got Milo ping from Go Kim. Thanks for support. Oh, crypto doing very well. Oh, crypto. 
the time I see the Bitcoin for the 4K now don't know how much really. Is it still going up or, or stabilized really? Or oh, stabilized really that? So Bitcoin is going up because it's a risk asset. Now everyone is thinking that uh only go up. Wow, see so explosive here. It's like parabolic. Yeah, the, the sentiments is, is very strong. Uh. It's very bullish uh, for the US market. So some investors is that they feel that China uh, is not moving, so they give up. So they, they, they cut losses. And they also can get the tax loss harvesting. Loss now is yuan already. So they sell their Baba stock for tax loss harvesting. Then they buy into the US market to, to chase the rally. So that's why December this month is difficult for Baba to uh, rally. Because people will sell Baba for tax loss harvesting. But uh, December they want to sell, just let them sell. Then next year we, we see how it goes. Whether can recover or not. Yeah. Okay, chit chat you all before I go offline. Okay. Okay, Wong Ki Song. Palantir Foundry is very powerful. It can tap to any software app. They have very powerful API. Wow. Okay, you all understand Palantir a lot. Huh? For me, I don't understand. Huh? Yeah, but a lot of people say Palantir, the software is very good. So that, that's why they are a market leader. But just that I, I don't like their management team. Huh? And the good thing is Palantir already turned profitable already. They have four quarters of profitability. So next year, they might be moved into the S&P 500. Yeah. Uh, Swifty Forever, Palantir stock based compensation more than 100% of their free cash flow. Yeah, but when you have so much stock based compensation, right? Because like you earn the revenue from the contract, right? Your cost, your expenses mostly is labor cost to hire the programmers. But the programmers, they don't pay cash, they, they give shares. So their uh, expenses, uh, it, it seems very low or it's very artificially low. But the stock based compensation is a real cost, then that's not factored in into, into the company. Yeah, and because your expenses is so low due to the stock based compensation, your earnings and your free cash flow looks very good. So, uh, Palantir, the numbers look very good be because of that. So, if you subtract the, the, the stock based compensation, right, then you will lose, uh, look uh, less attractive in, in that sense. Yeah. Li Yong, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Anigo, quite so, quite smart. Yeah. It, it's good to differentiate because the quite so, they are not competing well uh, in terms of the e commerce. That's why they move into property. And property, nobody wants to go in now. But property now is in a downturn. So they are being greedy when others are fearful. So nobody interested to do property, then they do property like live streaming. And sell property. So this is quite a new and interesting concept. Yeah. Cash eleven, quite so property short video doesn't make me want to buy. Makes me want to laugh and cry. Is it the property very lousy type? Is it? Okay, yeah. Burry King. Okay. Uh, Lawrence Wong signed FTA free trade agreement with China. Do you think uh Tomasic will buy China stock soon? Uh, in fact, Tamasic started buying already. They bought into JD and Alibaba. Uh, Tamasic bought JD at fifty dollar, then it crashed to twenty five dollar. So see, they will continue to add more or not. But I think now Singapore and China, the relationship stronger and stronger. So hopefully, Tamasic and GIC they will continue to make investments in, into China. Then, uh, China and Saudi Arabia, Middle East also have a lot of this uh FTA free trade agreement. So the, the Saudi, the Soviet wealth fund is also buying into the China market. As the US investors leave, the Middle East and the Singapore wealth, Soviet wealth funds will go in to slowly buy because it's so cheap. It's such a bargain now. Yeah. Or quite so, they also have the, the video for the Hong Kong property uh, and property rental. 5,000 US dollar a month for a tiny 700 square foot flat in Hong Kong. Wow, that's very expensive. Singapore, I think 700 square foot flat, uh, also about that price there. In Sing dollar, I think at least, I think 4,000 Sing a, a month, uh, rental uh, for 700 square foot flat in Singapore. Singapore property now very expensive also. Same, same situation as Hong Kong. So then uh, our HDB in the past is like 300,000. Now, now the HDB triple already become million dollar HDB. So a lot of the, common folks in Singapore are complaining that 
the housing is get, getting unaffordable. Like a new couple, right? Uh, 25 year old, they buy the house. They must pay for 30 years until 55 year old. Keep paying for the house, the, the monthly installment. So definitely very hard to fire uh, in, in Singapore. If, it, if you own a property, means you are like the slave to the, to the bank really. Every month must pay the, the mortgage. Yeah. Quite so is in the Hang Seng Tech ETF also. Okay. Kenneth, I do think Perlenta is quite young in terms of borrowing. Their growth from 2024 to 2022 somehow like stunned. Mm, Perlenta is still a high growth tech. Uh. Their, their revenue growth is like 15%. It's still considered high, high growth tech. Yeah. White Apple, Hang Seng Tech ETF or MSCI? If you want to buy in the uh, US market, I actually recommend uh, KWeb. K KWeb is the if you have US, depend on what currency you have. You have US dollar, then you buy KWeb. Uh, expense ratio is uh, 0.69. But uh, mostly it's the software companies. It, pure software, all the software tech. Ping Toto, Tencent. Wow, their top position is Ping Toto. Then don't buy already. The KWeb. Uh, KWeb, I, I, I don't, don't, don't buy KWeb. No, I, I, I'm, I'm shocked that. They never re they never rebalance their portfolio. They are holding so much pink total. Uh, don't, don't buy KWeb. Uh. The one to buy is the MChin. MChin is better. So MChin the ratio, expense ratio is smaller. It's just 0.58 percent. Then uh the MSCI China ETF. Uh. Then they they're they holding there's Tencent, Alibaba, Ping Toto, but there's also the banks uh, like CCB, ICBC, Ping An. The big four banks are in, inside. Then you also have the tech companies. So US market, you have US dollar, buy the MCHI. So for the Hong Kong market, you want to buy, it is the, there's two, you can buy the Hansen Index. Or Hansen Index, there's Alibaba, there's Tencent, or there's also the, the banks also. It's banks and the tech companies uh, mixed inside. Or another one, you can buy the, uh, so, so you look at the five year chart, huh? It's all oh, five years all the way downtrend the past five years. Also, Hansen index is super super undervalued. Yeah, so banks and tech uh, both inside. But if you want the, the pure tech one, right, then you buy the Hansen Tech ETF. So Hansen Tech ETF, I think it's what? 3067. Uh, I think it's called three. So if you don't if you don't want the banks, right? You only want the tech companies, then you buy this one. 3067. iShares Hansen Tech ETF. Yeah, so also all the way down. So f five years, it peaked at the 1960. Yeah, in 2-1, uh, two, two was the peak. So 2-1, two, 2-2, two, 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 three. three years bear market already for the tech stocks. It peaked at 2-1, January 2-1, and then now, so three years bear for us already. Yeah, Hansen Tech is three years bear. Wow. Hansen Tech is three years bear already. 2-1, then 2-2, two, two, then yeah. 22 October, the lows was here. But now you can see that the chart here is that stabilization. You see that things are stabilizing already. We are going, we are more or less consolidating already. So I, I don't think it will break new lows uh, for the Han Hansen Index. Then for the Hansen Index, you, you can see also. Or oh, this is that, I don't know what, like, like decade lows already. I also don't know how to see the chart already, you see? The, the, the last time it comes out is like global financial crisis. Really. It's like, it's like uh, global finance was 09. So it's like one and a half decade. One and a half lost decade. So people say that uh, what China lost decade. It will be lost for 10, 20 years. Already lost decade already. You look at the Hansen Index. The Hansen Index pre-GFC, uh, it reached a peak of 31,000. Now it's half price that. To that peak, it never came back. So from 07 until now, uh, 14 years already. 14 years uh, lost that kid. 14 years lost that kid. Yeah, and the lows here is like uh, 12,800. Yeah. So so I think uh, we, we might come and test the lows again. Uh, 15,000. Yeah, but now you see the, the five year all, all the way down, downtrend from the 30,000 level all the way down. So it's really down by half already in that sense. It's all from thirty thousand level. Now it's near the fifteen thousand dollar level. Yeah. So I feel that the 
Hansen Index and Hansen Tech both very undervalued. Lah. But if you are worried about company risk like Alibaba or Tencent, you're not comfortable, then you just buy the ETF. ETF cannot go to zero, ma. The, the index got so many companies. Just buy the ETF lah, for, for collapse. Lah. A lot of this tofu building uh, is at the lower tier city, lah, like tier 3 to tier 5 city. So it's a bit of like corruption, like Evergrande like that. They tokong jian liao, that means they, they use inferior material because their cash flow got problem. Then they rush to complete the project. Yeah, so so now they, they are trying to fix the problem already. Yeah, so it depends on which developer. But that this tofu building, right, it's just a small percentage only. And usually it occurs in those lower tier cities. Yeah, so there will always be some scandal. Uh, but then those uh, Western media, they tend to blow it up. Then they'll show you the ghost town, all this. But then the like uh the ghost town are usually those like tier three tier five uh cities, tier three to tier three there's a oversupply of all these buildings, because most people they are working in the tier one city like Beijing, Shanghai, Shenzhen ah, uh, Wuhan ah, Chongqing ah, or all these areas. So tier one cities right, not enough building. There's still very high demand for for uh, apartments uh in the tier one city. And the prices are holding, but the tier three to tier five, right? There's no demand because people don't work there. It's all like people do agriculture or, or those farm areas, rural area. So those buildings, right? Uh, not only are they tofu buildings that they are worthless because people don't want to go there. So during the boom, they built too much uh, in in this outskirt area. So outskirt area, the property cannot touch, right? Yeah. Okay, Hantu, Hong Kong unit is more expensive. Yeah, Singapore is following suit really. Singapore, the HDB getting smaller and smaller, more and more expensive. Yeah, BKAPA, anyone know why AMD dropped yesterday? It's due to the, the news though, the, the NVIDIA news though. Yeah, I think both AMD and NVIDIA also dropped last night. Nvidia last night dropped two uh, percent. AMD dropped man. I thought AMD should go up because of this news. I never see. AMD dropped one point three percent. Uh, this this announcement uh was was last night yesterday. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe because of the increased competition, uh, it's a lose lose situation for both. I don't know. But definitely they, they yeah. Uh, AMD thinks uh, it takes wrap off Nvidia competition. Yeah, so so I don't know. I, I'm not an expert in all this. Shit. I don't know if really the Mi three hundred chip is as good or better than the Nvidia chip. But definitely, this won't be the last one. Uh. Uh, subsequently, next year you will see other companies also uh, announcing their AI chips. Now is the AI race ready. Don't be surprised next year, 10 or even 20 companies uh, announce those AI chips. That of course, like, if they launch a chip, they won't say that their chip is lousier than Nvidia chip. Like. Everyone will say that their chip is better than Nvidia. They, are, they will say that their chip is the best because they want to sell. So it will be very competitive, like, the, the AI chips. Yep, CH, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Wow, Jensha talks food. Like. Wow, your one is food channel. Like. Looks interesting. What about CK or WH? Uh, group has high dividend. I think there's the news that the WH group, the the founder uh came to buy the shares. Eh. I think yeah. So I think I think there's news or what yeah. But the Hong Kong property, I, I I'm not uh an expert in the Hong Kong property la. But the CK group ah, uh, all this is all the large conglomerates ah. Like the Chong Kong group, you see the price will crash like crazy la. Chong Kong is. Uh, one Hong Kong ah, uh, is 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 not. It's a code is number one ah. Uh, C K Hutchison holding. So it's a Li 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 Kaseng ah, uh, Hong Kong Superman. Oh, the chart is also all the way down, uh, super down. Uh. Yeah, I see half price ah. Uh, uh, yeah, eighty three dollars now is forty dollars. Super half price. So you say uh lost decade right? You see, uh the this the Chong Kong group right? The dividend yield is seven percent ah. You see, it's like. This is like the dot com bubble that time. Eh? So it's already lost that kid. 
People say that China will go into a lost decade. I tell you, China already in a lost decade. And we are getting out of the lost decade. You see, from 2020, it was like, oh, oh, so 23 years ago, it was already $50. And now the price is lower than, than, than before. So I, that's why I won't buy the US market. I won't buy the Singapore market. I got money, I should buy the Hong Kong market. Hong Kong market, you have this kind of blue chip stocks huh, that is like, 20 years sideways eh. you're getting the 20 year ago the price eh. and the company has grown so much eh. but also la, the same can be said for Alibaba la. Alibaba also lost decade la, sadly to say so you look at the Alibaba chart right one decade ago or it IPO at $68 la. then the first day it rocket to I think $80 uh, the first day traded price was about $80 you see last time Alibaba you see the lows also 60 something or, or what I cannot see the lowest low la, but you see over here eh, $59 that's why I, I say 60 the support so not that I, I, I anyhow shot one number one but I, I, I see other the TA experts say yeah so I think this is the lowest it will go la, 58 59 about the $60 level la. then you can so this is the 2015 price la. next year is 2014 so this is one decade ago the price there so Alibaba already lost that kid. So during the, the recent uh, downturn, right, we saw it coming as low as the $60 level. La. Intraday it was $58. Intraday was $58. Then the trading day, I think $60 level. Something like that. Yeah, so Alibaba already lost that kid already. So for me, I bought it about here like that. I remember I bought it in $200, $200 20 I bought about $220 level, somewhere around here. Because when when it peaked at three hundred twenty, right, or three hundred twenty, it peaked right. Then it crashed to two hundred twenty. I I thought it was cheap. Thirty percent, I buy. Then it drops some more. Then drop to hundred fifty. I hundred eighty, I buy. Hundred fifty, I buy. Then hundred twenty, I buy. Then drop to here, uh, sixty dollar level. Master Kana margin call. Then I lost one third of my portfolio. Yeah. Uh, then over after it start to recover, right. Then I've been DCAing over the past one year. But I, I bought into SE, I bought into Baba, I bought into JD. La. Then now it's coming back down already. So I don't know. If it comes below 60, I, I will get margin call. La. But below 60, it makes no sense. Eh. Below 60 is, is new lows already. La. The all time lows is like 58, 59, $60 level. La. It has to break new, new, new lows. Then master will die. La. So those who want to buy Alibaba at $50 or $40, I don't think it will get there. La. If Alibaba reach 40 or 50 dollars, you won't see me on YouTube anymore. I'll probably uh, underwater already. Uh, in the river, I go swimming already. Oh, no joke. I think I'll go swimming already. Uh, that means I, can, uh, I, don't, I, I don't believe uh, you will go below uh, 60 dollars. Uh. So that, that's an irrational number. Uh. So fundamentally, I don't think it go below. I think a lot of people will jump uh, if, if Alibaba goes below 60 dollars. Yeah, you see the, the maximum, look at the maximum, yeah, it's already lost that kid. So people will tell you that, oh, China will have a lost that kid ahead. That's not true. Already lost that kid already. Yeah, now we are getting out of the lost that kid. But when, I don't know. Hopefully it's 2024. Oh, I, I don't know when we'll get out of the lost that kid. Oh, Lisa Su. So her name is Lisa. Oh, Chobu, Chobu. Yeah, but you notice that Lisa Jensen Huan, all is the Chinese roots one. Yeah, yeah, Jensen, uh, Jess, Jess, Jess Lim, or oh, Lisa Lu and the Jensen Huan, their distant ca cousin, they have like certain roots one. Oh, Jack, I, I, I don't, Jackson Wang related to Wang A Yi, ah. is it? So power. Ah. Jackson Huang and J Jackson and Jensen Huang all got connection. Ah. But Chinese like that one, Chinese, the rich, right? The rich, they are all connected one. The rich mix with the rich. The poor mix with the poor. Master don't have the rich connection. Oh, George Cree. JP Morgan was the largest buyer of Alibaba uh, Hong Kong shares today. Wow, that's good, that's good. So oh, those analysts are very CB one. Eh. They, they shout sell, right? Then they are the buyer. They buy cheap. After they, they loaded up enough already, right? Then they'll change to buy call. Then the retail investors, they sold out at the lows. Then they will FOMO in and buy. Yeah, so the, the, the US analysts, they like to manipulate the market. Yong, welcome, welcome. Yeah, 
AK71 sold his reads ah, is it? Oh no, I never watched his videos really. I think he's taking a break for December. Go and play game ready. I think it, maybe he's embarrassed or what. I don't know. Uh. But to be a YouTuber, you must be a bit thick skin. Uh. Like Master always shout, boy, he's living pot. Then the boat come back. Boy, he's living pot. Then the boat come back. Then people always mock and attack me. But I don't care. one. Uh. But more attack me a, a few times, okay. If keep attacking me, uh, then I will block already. So I block quite a lot of people already. But those who are my regulars, I, I won't block. Uh. Once in a while, you all make fun of me, I'm okay. one. Uh. Oh, but 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 yeah, but AK seventy one, he keeps saying that the market will will get worse, uh, REITs will crash further, end up the REITs rebound sharply, both left port yeah, so those who follow him they miss the opportunity to buy the REITs or uh, cheap cheap, but like I say lah, only buy the blue chip REITs ah. it's very hard to time the market lah. If it's cheap, just buy. That's that's my thinking. Yeah, hantu after Christmas ready, anything can happen. Burry King, Tom Lee predicts December will be zigzag. Yeah, yeah, I definitely not a trade. I don't think might be might some pull back then go up. But general trend should be a bull trend. Uh, I I will say. Well empty pulse, you also got follow uh. you also many people vo follow the Tom Lee uh. Tom Lee wear the specs there. Uh. Maybe I I I should be like him also. Uh, I want to be the Singapore version of the Tom Lee. Uh, just, just kidding. Cancelling zigzag until twelve thirteen. Oh, they have, oh, they have their up daily update. Is it daily broadcast? Is it? Yeah, Pixel Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Kun getting more and more expensive. Eh. how can they raise the price? Is four eighty, five sixty? Then now six thirty. Eh? I don't dare to go. Eh. I go coffee shop. Eh. recently, but I stay is the Clementi side. Eh. the the new coffee shop two dollar only. Coffee, egg, and bread. Got two two dollar set. I go coffee shop eat. Uh. I, I don't want to go the, the Yakun. I boycott the Yakun already. Yeah. Clash 11. We should adjust our tips so that master can eat better. Okay, la. no need to tip more than $10. La. Tip $3, my no pain. $5, chai burn. More than enough. La. Master very happy already. Even don't tip also okay because I got earn uh, revenue from the advertising. Ma. Every 1,000 view, I get $5. So every 1,000 view, I, get, I earn one chai burn already. So now I do YouTube is not bad. Every time I stream, I make about twenty dollars per stream. Uh, advertising plus tips plus blah 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 everything. So every time I stream, I, I cover my lunch and dinner, my my three meals for the day already. Basically, my YouTube helps to cover all, all my food expenses already. So so not bad, master the, the the YouTube doing quite well. Yeah, and I'm happy about it lah. But I set a very low target lah. Yeah, I I do, and my monetization is very low. I don't take any sponsored posts. Yeah. Because my focus is more on growing my, my, my channel, growing my subscriber, letting more people know about Alibaba. I need more people to board the Baba boat. There's a new video by Eric Lee on China Golf Plan. Yeah, the China Golf Plan, instead of property and manufacturing, they, they are changing towards uh, the, the new fire plan is towards like green energy, uh, automation, AI, semiconductor, all this already. That's why they don't want to do super QE to, 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 to push. Mm, yeah, who is the Eric Lin? Ah? So is, is this this guy? Let me search my the YouTube Eric Lin. Yeah, this one. So you all can go and check this video. Lah, eh? The Chinese New Economy and Globalization by Dr. Eric Lin. So this is very insightful. You all can, can go and watch uh, this one. Yeah, yeah so you all can watch his speech o over here. So then maybe I just talk a bit lah, in case you are lazy to watch. So in the past, right, or oh, China have to bow to the U.S. So U.S. is the biggest e economy. So China actually uh, support the, the, the U.S. by providing cheap goods, uh, doing the manufacturing. But China now, uh, in the past uh, two decades, oh, it's like the rise of the real estate, the rise of the uh, big tech companies like Alibaba and Tencent. Then they have very strong uh, chain supply so that they can manufacture your, your iPhone iPhone, your Xiaomi phone at the lowest price. Oh, but there's no innovation nah, because of the monopolies like the uh, Alibaba, Tencent, the e-commerce. E-commerce basically price war only. Or oh, like winner takes all, burn money, capture market share. Once you're the market leader, then you try to monetize the users. So the future is changing. So uh, real estate, the risk is there. So they need to st stabilize the, the real, real estate. But they don't want real estate to grow anymore already. They are, the old economy is that real, real estate, 
a low end manufacturing and uh, consumer internet platform the future oh, is like uh, energy and material like example solar energy solar panels materials as if like battery technology for the ev cars uh, healthcare and life life science like, like pharmaceutical uh, r d research like can cancer treatment or those kind of things then uh, te technology is like what like uh, ai uh, robotics and also like e ev those kind of things so we are moving away already. We are step, stepping up onto the value chain. Yeah, so so then we are going to compete against the, the US. Law. So so the, the, that's the change. So this, this sharing is very insightful. Or uh, what's ahead already. That's why from here you will understand why they are so reluctant to do super QE. Because I super QE and save the property for what? The, the future is not about property. The future is about uh, technology advance, ad advancement. To become more like the U.S. to compete against the U.S. Uh, but the good thing is that why I, I want you all to invest in Alibaba and Tencent. Well, Alibaba and Tencent they invest heavily in all those new areas, or uh, in all those new technologies. Basically, like Alibaba, right? The cash count is the e-commerce business, which continues to be a cash count. Then the they take the cash count right to invest in other areas, like uh robotics, like AI, like semiconductor. Or, or, or that even like example EV, Alibaba has a ten percent stake in XPeng, Tencent has a ten percent stake in Neo. So so, uh yeah. So then Alibaba they invest heavily in Damo Academy, uh, which is a uh, their AI unit, and they also invest heavily in Alicao, which is also very important. Uh, the computing to to support all these AI businesses, yeah, yeah. So so yeah, Eric Lin is a venture fund uh, uh, manager, so. You go YouTube a lot of his videos ah. yeah he's a very smart guy I like his presentation yeah okay where is uh Shina Choi what just for him you, you miss Shina Choi ah. maybe people go dating or what ah. wow Mister Tokumi want to be moderator I ah. cannot ah. I cannot anyhow give moderator what oh, moderator you have the it's very powerful you can kick anyone out or ban anyone out I only have two moderator one is my brother but he seldom watch my video another is my my childhood friend Bao Chang yeah um, the person must be I know the person uh, in person uh, then more than 10 years or what I really trust then I put the moderator Us, I won't sell moderate law but most of the time we don't moderate one I seldom moderate one then the Bao Chang my moderator he also seldom moderate one basically no no moderation one yeah but if you put like website link or scroll vulgarity the AI will automatically delete that yeah just that if people are always come out and make life very difficult for master lah, then I will hide the person from my channel lah. Once I hide you, you are hidden forever already. Then I, I won't see your comments forever. Yeah. Example, if your comments makes me very stressful lah, keep mocking me lah. Say master lah, your, your Alibaba will crash and you will get margin call lah. Those kind of comments, right? Well, then, then, then I, I will be very stressed lah. Yeah. Wow, got tips again. Wow. Clutch 11, thoughts at thoughts at. Wow. Thanks for your chicken chop. Yeah, thanks for the live stream. 2024, Baba Boo, Baba Hua. La. Thanks all for the support. Hua, hua. Yeah. Wow. Once in a while, tip can ready. Oh, no need to tip so often. Master doing very well. Don't don't worry. Ah. If you like the video, give a like can ready. No need to tip also okay one. Yeah. Yeah. Most important, you all enjoy la. and you all hold your Alibaba stress. Don't paper hand. Eh. I'm sharing so that everyone is on the Baba boat. We all can stay strong together. Each, give each and other support. Yeah, give each and other support and hold strong. Oh, right is going for IPO. Oh, I don't know that. Right is like the grab like that, right? Right is from which country? Uh? I forget already. R-I-D. Right. Right is what? Right is the is app. Uh, uh, Carpooling app is from Singapore. I don't know what. Wow, there's so little information. First carpool app in Singapore. Ah, yeah. uh, but I, I don't think it's popular. Like. I don't think it's, it, it's popular. The Singapore app. Uh. Arm rallied from 47 to 73. So strong. Arm is a winner for sure. The more people use the arm, they are both they are a, a monopoly like, in a sense. Like you make the chips for the mobile phones, uh, you, you will need the ARM technology to make the chips. So more chips produced, the more money ARM, ARM makes. Uh. 
So they are, so but their valuation is very high. They are making like one dollar per share is like fifty times uh PE ratio. So um the valuations definitely not cheap. Uh. BKAP plan to do bearish call on TLT, Baba and Video. Wow, bearish call is what? I also don't know what's a bearish call. Uh, sell call to earn the premium, is it? Clutch 11, AliExpress is very aggressive to gain Korea market share, is it? Wow, Korea then they fight against the coupon, not easy. Swifty forever, I look into coupon before. My main discomfort is China e-commerce saturated, yeah. Coupon cannot grow already. They are the market leader, but they are also unable to grow outside. Coupon they try to grow into Asia, but 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 they were unsuccessful. Yeah. Coupon not so successful. They attack Taiwan. Taiwan also uh Taiwan Taiwanese they, they like Japanese and Korean products. But Taiwan uh their spending power is much less. Uh. As, as compared to Japan, Singapore, and Korea, Taiwan, the spending power is, is less. Uh. So it's, it's not a huge market, uh, I, I, I would say. Yeah. Ping Toto is spending very fast. Yeah, expanding in the US market very, very fast. Yeah. AMD announced their MI300 chips a few months back. Yeah, now, to, to, last night was then the official launch. Yeah. There was a lot of anticipation, uh, maybe the, the launch was a bit disappointing. That's why last night the, the stock price down a bit. Yeah, okay, master getting tired already. I skipped through a bit. Uh, QOO10, a Korean company. Because yeah, sell sell many Korean. E -kick, yeah, the, the Q10, uh, I heard it's bankrupt already. A lot of problems there. Eh. You all be careful. Eh. QOO10, EDM have you? Is it is that bankrupt already? So you all be careful. See? Very dangerous, you see. This is the forum, I see. Some sellers on Q10 are unable to draw earnings, so because it's so competitive, yeah. So don't don't use Q10 better that it is going bankrupt already. Some sellers on Q10 are unable to withdraw their earnings for a platform. Uh, they are facing cash flow issue. Ah, uh. it's, it's a Korean, uh, e-commerce player. So you all be careful. Don't don't use Q10. Uh. use Shopee like Lazada better. Yeah, meme news. I watched already the, the speech from Eric Lin. I watched like two, three of their videos uh, yesterday. Don, Don, uh, Dominic Teo, Master, don't talk about going underwater and don't see you anymore. Okay, I stay positive. Master, go swim, then come back already. Master, I go come at this swimming pool to swim. I swim, then I come back. I will be around. Lah. Just kidding one. Lah. Yeah. I've been through the depression episodes already. Now, Master recovering well. See, Master so happy, so positive. But I don't think Alibaba will go below 60. La. If it goes be below 60, then you're worried for me. But but now I, I'm not so worried. La. 69, 68, even come down to 65, 62, then okay. Once it start to be 60, oh, wow, then I, I will be very stressed already. But that's another day. La. I don't think it will come so low. La. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ML subscribers suddenly coming out. Okay, like my, 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 all the way my subscriber always grow. Right? Every day, we have like 5 to 20 people subscribe to me. And I never promote myself. I always say, oh, remember to like and subscribe. I, I, I'm I very volunteer basis one. Or subscribe if you want to bought the Baba boat. You don't want to bought, then don't bought. Yeah, you want to bought, then bought all the way. As simple as that. I don't force people to bought the Baba boat. But if you bought the Baba boat, you don't paper hand. Master and the community will hold your hand, then we all hold each other hand on the boat. <laughs> we sing, we sing together, but we don't jump off the boat. Stay strong. Yeah, every every day, Monday to Friday, I update you all on the Chinese economy. What is really happy, happening? Don't watch those fake Western media, uh, ghost town, la, empty port, la, all, all those kind of fake fake news. My one is the, is the real real news. Yeah. YouTube, a lot of the fake news. Uh, you you, all, you all be, be careful. Yeah. Meme news, Alibaba AI and automation is uh, Baba new economy uh, driver. Yeah, I, I give you an example, like the Chai, Chai Niao warehouse. It's all fully automated one. That you all can search my Chai Niao warehouse, then yeah, fully automated. So, so this is also robotics uh, and, and the AI. 
so they you see or uh, their warehouse is all the machine one, no human one yeah so this uh, uh like automation this is the future already where singapore our warehouse we are still using human so this is where uh then also like how you want to track all the parcel it's also through big big data which is your ali cloud your ai to track the parcel where it's being delivered to what's the expected time so nowadays when you order from lazada or shopee right your parcel are uh, every hour is is refreshed is it at the warehouse is it with the delivery guy is it at your doorstep every hour they will update you where, where your parcel is so all this is technology lor. so so uh, alibaba is doing a, a lot of that already then another thing that you all mentioned yeah but always synergize with e-commerce e-commerce is still the core then like payment la, logistics la, cloud la, all this synergizes very well uh, with e-commerce because at the end of the day right the heart of the economy is consumer spending in the end goods must be bought and sold so so e-commerce is the heart whereas logistic payment la, uh, cloud la, is all to support the the consumer business yeah. that's how i think of it la. yeah so thanks again for the cash 11 thoughts and thoughts and what yeah Meme news master i spent all my 55k usd already. you buy all the mchi etf la. goodbye la. you hold for one two year sure what big big one la. you buy the chinese etf yeah what la, what la. yeah master no stress master strong Mean news wow you buy the mchi etf 2823 ping an baba and tencent 2823 is what i forget already eh? it's an etf also i think 23 hong kong what is 2823 a500 etf oh this one I, i'm not familiar but this is the shanghai shenzhen uh stocks ah. yeah it's the mainland china the hai di lao la guizhou mao tai all this is it because it's A500, I forget what is A500 already. What is the holdings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's one. Guizhou Mao Tai Law. This is the uh, Shanghai and Shenzhen Index. Well, I'm surprised BYD is ranked so high. BYD now the market cap is quite high already. Uh, so, so that's why it's super blue chip already. Then uh, CATL is the battery maker. Then there's also energy player like Yangzhen Power. Then uh, China Merchant Bank, or oh, also the big six bank. Uh, Wu Liang Yi Ping, I think this is an energy player also, this one. Ping An Insurance, oh, then you're so in your, in your index. Biomedical, I don't know already. Oh, Lu Zhou Lao Jian, ah. wow, this is con consumer stock. Ah. This one, ah, I don't know, I don't know what is this one. What, what food they sell also. So China market is huge. Eh. A lot of stocks, ah, I also don't know. Eh. Oh, Wu Liang Yi Ping. Oh, it's also consumer stock. I, I'm wrong. It's not energy. So these two, I, 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 I'm not familiar. So Ch China market is is very weak. Yeah. yeah so, wow. Meme news. F U master. I spent almost sixty five k USD on China stock. Yeah. yeah. I'm on paper hand. Yeah. Okay. 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 Endure. 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 Relax. 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 Yeah. Don't paper hand. Everyone hold strong. Everyone on board, on board the Alibaba and, and China boat. Yeah, yeah. Don't so fierce. Don't feel the master scared. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Stay strong. Stay strong. Yeah. Come in, chit chat lah. Here a lot of chobu. Got Ivy Lim, Shina Choi, and Nina. Uh, a lot of chobu to chit chat with. A very strong community. Our community is getting bigger and bigger. Uh, there's also uh, white apple. White apple, I think, is also chobu. So if you're stressed, just come in and chit chat lah. The market is very volatile. I think a lot of you all feeling very stressed, very upset. I understand. Yeah, just come in and find some support. Yeah, master was also very stressed. Uh. That's why I go hiking and do meditation now uh, to, to, to de-stress. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah. only talk about Baba boat. No need to go outside see the boat. Don't worry, master is still healthy. Yeah, master won't anyhow jump one. Then we end our rest. La. We end nowadays, I just accompany my girlfriend. In fact, I love my weekend. Eh. Weekend, I super happy because the weekend the market is closed. Alibaba the stock price won't drop. Then weekend, I I go eat with my girlfriend or oh. eat ah, chit chat ah, walk walk ah, yeah. But also don't dare to spend too much ah. Yeah, cut down my spending ah. Mostly I go out with my girlfriend. Mostly is spent on food oh. Yeah, one meal maybe twenty thirty dollar ah, with my with my girlfriend because I really want to pamper her. 
Yeah, so thanks you all for, for the support. Yeah. Thanks for treating uh, master and my and my girlfriend. Yeah. Food is my number one expenses, uh, I I would say. Yeah. But Monday to Friday, uh, master is eat Thai pen all the way one. Only Saturday, Sunday I go out with my girlfriend, then we eat uh, like better meal la, like mala hot pot la, or eat in the restaurant. One person uh, slightly more than ten dollar. We end eat eat a bit better lor. Monday to Friday, eat Thai pen can already. Yeah. MK, suddenly you remind me of one person who keep asking viewer to click like during live stream. Uh. Start with L1, right? Nowadays, <laughs> that person seldom stream already. Uh. Wow, got big tips. Uh. Wow, hot, hot, hot. Uh. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, David Wong. Wow, hot. Uh. Thanks for your the hot pot. Hot, uh. wow, David Wong, hot. Uh. Gong si, gong si. Uh, to ze, to ze. Wow, so 10 Baba Bird, wow, hot la. don't knock me. Uh, Lim Ching Liang, congrats, congrats. And Lee, wow. Jen Joy, ETF Home Chan. Wow. Na Natalie Wong, wow, sounds like Chobu. San Advocate, congrats. Oh. Oh, John Lud Luden, ah. Oleg, wow, also a lot of uh, European uh, US investors in our Baba community also. Prince Butter, wow, welcome, welcome. Congrats to our 10 new Baba Bird. Wow, la. wow see, wow, Baba Bird community getting stronger and stronger. So you all don't paper hand. Our community is very strong. 2024, a uh, year of dragon. We are quite big, big. Oh. So thanks all for the support. So Master very tired already. Oh. Max Garmin have been through shitty markets each time. You always come out stronger. Yeah, I've been through the global financial crisis. Global financial crisis, the Singapore market crashed 50%. But this time around is worse than the global financial crisis. Alibaba crashed 80%. I've never seen before. La. But but the peak was 320. La. Then 320, right? let's say uh, down to $60, right? So that's a crash of 260. 260, 260, right? Or over uh, 320. Oh, that's a crash of 81%. Yeah, so $60 is a 80% crash for Alibaba. And Alibaba has a lost decade already. And the lows is 60. La. If it breaks below 60, it's a new low. The, the lowest is like $59, $58. Will Alibaba break a new low? I don't know. But I think the chances are low. La. So I think the, the lowest it can go is probably $60. That's my view. La. I, may, I may be wrong. La. Or maybe uh, next week stop selling already, I also don't know. Uh, let me look at the US pre-market before I, I call it a night. So, endure, endure. Hopefully next year, the year of the dragon will be better for us. But Alibaba, 3-year bear market already. Hong Kong market, 4-year bear. Insane. Oh, pre-market green color leh. Wow, support like that, support like that. JP Morgan, start buying already. Go, go, go. It, it looks like the US market... Uh, the buying is stronger. Hong Kong market always open, just sell off already. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for tonight. Uh, thanks for coming in. Yeah, you all go take a look at the Eric Lee video. It's quite uh, interesting. Uh, Russell Seed, try to find related stocks to take advantage, but cannot find any relevant. Why? Eh? China market, uh, yeah, just buy the ETF law if you all worried. Uh, Alibaba uh, is more of a high risk, high reward. La. But Alibaba and Tencent, I feel they are both solid. I don't know why. But if you want to sleep better at night, just buy the ETF, la. like the MCHIM or in the Hong Kong market, the Hansen Tech ETF. Yeah, so that's all my sharing for tonight. Thanks all for coming. Or oh, special thanks again to our sponsor for the Master Leong Show, Go Kim, Clash 11, and David Wong. Oh, bless you all. <laughs> bless uh, the three of you all. Good health and good wealth. Oh, Gong Si Fa Chai. Thanks for support. Okay, fire some rocket also. So hopefully, 2024, we all can hot hot. Oh, I like the red rocket. Red is hot color, okay? Take care of all. Oh, new Baba Bird, remember to, to fire more rocket. Yeah, year of 2024, dragon year. People will make more dragon baby. Master also want dragon baby. Maybe 2024, master accident. Then have dragon baby. Ah. On sale make the accident. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm still not ready for a baby. Yeah. Maybe Baba go to 300, then I'll start. Family planning or what? So take care all. Bye bye. Take care. Bye bye.